Programs in embryo are made by connecting nodes together into groups called agents. The main area of the application is the node screen editor. Open an agent for editing by double-clicking on it in the project tree. In the bottom right of the node screen is a refresh rate dropdown. This controls how many times per second the nodes on this screen update. The default is 32, which means the nodes on this screen will update every 31.25 milliseconds. To add a node to a node screen, place your mouse cursor where you want to add the node and click the right mouse button, then select a node from one of the folders. Nodes have inputs in the top left and outputs in the bottom right. The two main types of input and output in Embryo are activations and triggers. Activations are green and triggers are blue. To make a connection, simply click on an output and drag it to an input of the same type. To change the value of an activation input, you can click and drag on it, or to enter a value, you can right click on it and select Edit Value. Next to the inputs and outputs are some button icons. The first icon makes the input or output available to be attached to from other agents. This is discussed further in the Agents video. This button is available for all input and output types. Activation inputs and outputs also have more buttons. The next button opens up a graph of the value. You can change the duration to record data in the playback control on the bottom of the screen. The default is 10 seconds. Most activation values use the range of 0 to 1. Sometimes you also want to use a negative range. Click on the minus sign icon to expand the input or output's range. Notice that inputs and outputs clamp values to their range, so if you need to use the full range, make sure to set it on all inputs and outputs that use it. Activation inputs also have a blend mode. This is how multiple connections are blended together. The options are Add, Multiply, and Average. Click on the last button to cycle through them. The Multiply Blend node is very important. A lot of what agents do is activate and suppress other agents. Imagine you have a value that you only want to pass on if a switch is on. Connect both output activations to the same input activation and set it to Multiply. Now the value is only passed through when the switch is on because multiplying a number by 1 equals that number. When the switch is off, its activation is 0, which when multiplied by any number is equal to 0. Unlike activations that update at every refresh, triggers update at a single moment. When an output trigger fires, all input triggers that it is connected to also fire. For example, on the above or below node, an output trigger fires whenever the input activation goes above or below the threshold value, and the toggle trigger fires when either happens. Connect a trigger by dragging from an output trigger to an input trigger. By moving the input activation on the above or below node, I can turn the switch on and off. The last type of input and output is text. Here I have a custom Arduino node that prints to an LCD when its input trigger fires. Custom Arduino nodes are discussed further in another video. To set the text on this node, I'll use a text activator node. I'll change the input text by right-clicking on the input and selecting Edit Value. Then I'll type Hello. On a text activator node, if the input activation goes above 0.5, the text input is passed through to the output, and a turned on trigger fires. I'll connect the text output and turned on trigger to the inputs on the custom Arduino node. Text inputs add their connected outputs together. I'll copy and paste the activator node and change the text to world, and attach the text output. Notice that the input adds the two text values together when they are both set. To only show one value at a time, I'll use a switch, attach its activation to the activation of the first text node, use a flip value node and connect the flip value to the other text node, and also connect the second activator's turned on trigger. Now toggling the trigger prints the words hello and world in sequence.